is excited to see the final color reveal of our boat. If you are, then repeat after me. Move that bus. Move that bus. We are Ben and MP and we bought a sinking boat. We've been rebuilding a bath for almost three years now. And after replacing every single frame. As you can see behind us, we have two new frames. And every single plank. It's finally time to paint our hole with its final color. So no more mystery. Let's get to it. I don't know if you can see. Well, I know you can see that the sun is behind me, which means this should be a very productive week. The plans for this week. The boat is grey now, which I think looks very cool. It's only missing an anti-aircraft gun on top and some Harrier jets. Uh, however, we're not going to keep it this grey. This is just a primer. The next step, Nico's already drying it off a bit with a cloth because it's the... What is it? The damp from the night is just making everything drip. When that's done, I'm just going to go over it lightly with a sanding paper to make the surface stick to the PU paint better. There's also a plug here just before applying the primer I forgot we had one of the most obvious holes it was so obvious that we said we'll do it later we'll do it later and then when the time came we just forgot to do it we forgot one minor detail before starting to paint which Nico's gonna take care of now yes. so that has to be cut off sanded and a bit of primer paint. When that's done, we can now tape it up again. We're also gonna work on rudder system, hopefully. We're gonna work on connecting the alternator to the 12 volt starting engine battery. Loads and loads and loads and loads. So this should be a very, very productive week. Now we're just cleaning off all the dust, we'll put the tarps up and paint. And it's a really good day for painting because it's hot and everything will dry really quickly. So I'm going to go over it lightly, so it dries quickly, go over it again and again and again.
Got my overall on, gonna put my mask on, gonna get the paint ready and the compressor gun and paint port side. Gonna go over lightly and go over lightly, covering up bit by bit. Cause I've learned that if you wanna just make it all white in one go, it's very, it gets thick and it drips. So I'm gonna try and not do that. I'm gonna be patient. Cause if you're not patient, you're gonna have to spend more time fixing it. Everything's taped up. The waterline's just got a stripe of paint because we're gonna sand the under the waterline anyway to put the empty fouling. And then this side will be ready and that's gonna be such a relief. Let's go. Let's make a mess. So hot. I'm really taking my time mixing because it's midwinter and it's so hot in the sun. I'm trying not to drip in here to make the paint catalyze better. Cool down a bit already. It's in my eyes. Sweat. <laughs> looking whiter and this thing keeps filling up with some dirt that comes from somewhere don't know where
I think we should take the waterline tape off before it all dries. You sure? Yeah, you're doing it. Really? Wherever you want to start. Are you? Are you ready? No, it's still wet. Yeah, it's supposed to be, but... Yeah? It's not satisfying at all. You can also see what color it is compared to the previous white. Do you like the white we chose? Me? Yeah. I love it. I'm super, super happy with the whole. Yeah. Bow as well. I'm super Look proud of at you. this color. Compared to Snow White, it's slightly different. Yeah, this is pure white, and this is Yaba white. Anyway, that's that for today. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain tonight. Not a cloud in the sky. Better not. We're done. I'm super, super proud of you. I hope the paint's dry, it's been there for 10 to 12 hours, uh, catalyzed, and I'm gonna take off the tubs because that tape just sticks to the wood and it's a pain to get off all that gluey stuff and also the tubs collecting water, so let's go. Oh, it's satisfying taking this off and revealing the varnish. Yeah. I am so happy with this job. As you can see, we're tackling the transit as a whole other project to soon look like this. So ignore that for now. It's all gonna look like that. Smooth Alaska white. Varnish, Alaska white, and a nice anti fouling. Who is excited to see the final color reveal of our boat? If you are, then repeat after me Move that bus. Move that bus! Move that bus! The only reason they agreed to do that for us is in exchange for a beer, so off I go. Yes, guys, this is the final color of Yaba. This part here. We call it Alaska White, it's actually Yaba White. And after months, actually years, discussing which color we wanted to paint Yaba, we ended up going for white. We know many of you might be disappointed because we saw in the comments that you wanted something colorful. We really considered every single color of the rainbow. But we left the real wooden varnish and we wanted a color that would make that pop because we really want to value the wood that's in Yaba. And we thought that the warm colors would blend in too much with the wood like yellow, orange or red. And the cold colors like blue or green with blending too much with the sea so we just thought that that was not better color to make the wood pop like white it has a bit of yellow which makes it creamish it has a bit of black which makes it a bit gray but this is the final tone we have if you compare with pure white it really isn't the same color we like it a lot and i don't know it's just it's not something that is permanent it's forever if we ever get bored of it we can change things up but we just felt that painting it white it felt like a blank page a blank canvas a blank slate we're starting fresh with the abba and i think this color represents that very well move that bus move that bus <laughs> move that i mean to thank you all the cast and crew and supporting supporting cast That's it. The hull is finally, finally painted. 
Uh, we are so happy about this. This is definitely a huge milestone because of course now we just painted the hole but to get here we had to go through so many steps. Well of course firstly there was building the hole but other than that <laughs> We had to sand the hole, then fairing with the, we had like a 36 grit big sanding disc to get the most off. Then we filled all the gaps with some fairing compound before sanding it lightly with the palm sanders, the orbital sanders. Once that was fared, which took also forever, we applied two layers of epoxy resin on the entire hole with sanding in between, with a light sanding in between both layers. Yeah, we know that epoxy resin is a bit of subject we whenever when we did it back then we explained the reasons but the main thing is that when we lifted Yaba for the first time we saw that the hole and the keel were completely eaten by teredo worms and we know that epoxy will work as a shield against those burgers so that's why we opted for protecting our wood like that and if the resin wasn't enough we wanted to add another epoxy paint over it but for that we needed the epoxy primer so that brings us two layers of resin epoxy primer epoxy based paint which was the what two white layers you saw if that wasn't enough we wanted to have that final layer on which was the polyurethane paint which is the one you can see today which was i think the hardest one because you couldn't just paint it and leave it and put another layer on it's the final layer but to put polyurethane paint on we had to have the polyurethane primer which was the gray layer we chose polyurethane because it's uv proof waterproof i guess and also it lasts a very long time so hopefully we won't need to touch that hull in a very long time i know that lots of people say the less layers the better something might crack something might not crack will this work i don't know but i'm really keen to find out and yeah, and also it's not that we invented this recipe no. we had the axonovo team coming here the technician evaluated our boats the material and then they said do this followed by that that then we just follow those steps so we really hope it works only time will tell and then we'll let you know if our recipe was good very important though what are the next steps for the hole we've got the three holes which are going to go in we've got the chain plates which go on the side of the boat which are to hold the stays and the masts up then we've got the anti-fouling and the anti-fouling little line that we're going to add but that's before going into the water yeah, that's the last step but other than that the hole is finished and that leaves us loads of time to not finish interior furniture because that's almost there now but we'll work to work on the systems systems yeah. electrics plumbing, plumbing. Yeah. masts yeah. rigging everything yeah. so we've got some really cool times ahead really really cool times ahead and these are the things even though i love building the boat that I've really been looking forward to. Yeah, I'm super excited about working on the systems and I'm super happy that we finally painted the hole and I'm also super happy because I love how it looks. Good job. Our journey and every single victory along the way are only possible thanks to our supporters. So thank you so much, Nigel and Isolde for joining us on Patreon and also Neil and Antoinette for donating through PayPal. Thank you so much, Phil, Guy, Duane, Wiley, Kevin, Bear, Paul, Douglas, James, Greg, Joseph, Renee, and Eber for clicking that super thanks button on YouTube to support us. And last, last, but not least, least, mega super happy birthday to MP who just turned 30 this Thursday. I love you. Let's keep doing this journey together. It's never been more fun. 